What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're gonna be talking about a mind-blowing revolutionary technique that you can use with Blender to create your own instant HDRIs that are customizable. That means you can add in clouds if you want, take out clouds, add in a field, add in mountains, and all this is gonna be done and driven by artificial intelligence. So you can create an infinite number of different scenes, all of them being highly detailed and highly useful for you. And the best part about this, this is completely free. Using HDRIs is one of the most important techniques that 3D artists utilize to make their renders really stand out. Now I'm going to be showing you this technique in Blender but theoretically you could use this for just about any 3D software because HDRIs are something that can get plugged into just about anything whether it's Cinema 4D or Maya or even Houdini. If this is your first time here on the channel I want to make sure that you guys go ahead hit that subscribe button don't forget to ding that notification bell because we got a whole bunch of super dope stuff planned for you. If you guys are already subscribed I want to send a huge thanks because you guys are helping us get that much closer to our goal of 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Now, I had to make this video because I was mind blown when I saw what was coming out of the ingenious creators of NVIDIA. They came up with a really useful use case for AI and image generation by making a tool that allows us to create our own custom HDRIs. If you've never used an HDRI before, it's essentially an image that has a 360 degree view of a surrounding area. And most of the time, 3D artists use this to create really realistic looking lighting and reflections in their scenes. Now, one of the challenges of HDRIs is that not too many people know how to create their own HDRIs because it requires taking a series of images and then stitching them together to make a 360 degree view or it requires using a special application and then the perfect lighting conditions and that can be kind of challenging. Another option is to just download something that was created by someone else by going to something like HDRI Haven or just googling free HDRIs but again these are already pre-made scenes so let's say you have something that you want to be a little bit more customizable to really fine tune the look to your own liking. Well, thanks to the developers at NVIDIA and their Galgan 360 tool, it is an awesome free AI HDRI creator. I'm gonna pull it up right here so you can see what it looks like. Now on this side over here, you're gonna see that there is something that looks like a cross except a little bit turned on its side. Now the top is gonna represent the sky and the bottom area is gonna represent the ground. And we can use these tools right here on the side to just draw in whatever we want. So essentially, if I draw in this little green circle blob thing, it's going to create grass in this area. And if I draw in little clouds here, I'm going to be creating clouds. And this is super, super cool because I can create a realistic looking scene that is really just based off of some fast hand sketch that I did. I was honestly mind blown by the results. And check this out. I'm going to go ahead and just make something really quickly by using this tool. And then I'm going to download that 360 degree image and plug it into Blender for this animation. Okay, so the plugin that I'm using to import this is HDRI Maker, but that is a paid plugin. And if you guys want something that is completely free, you can actually do this right here in Blender. To do this in Blender without any plugins, you go over to the World tab. And then under Surface, we're gonna set this to Background. And for the color, it may be set to something else other than Multiply, but we wanna set it over to Environment Texture. Now you're gonna see that my entire screen turned kind of this pink fuchsia color. And that's because we don't have an HDRI or a 360 image imported. And to do that, all we have to do is click on open. And then I'm gonna go down to the folder where I saved those HDRIs that we made using Galgan 360. And I'm just gonna go ahead and import one by clicking open image. And instantly you're gonna see it gets imported in the scene. Now the cool thing about this is that it is actually a completely spherical projection. So if we move around the entire camera, we're gonna see that HDRI is plugged in there looking beautiful. And the cool thing about this is that it is directly in influencing the lighting and the reflections of this scene. So there's really a whole lot of flexibility that you can play around with this. Bam, instantly check out these results. Now I have an AI generated HDRI in a scene with this car and the reflections look nice. The lighting looks awesome. And the cool thing is this scene is not actually real at all. So if I wanted to, I could actually just change this however I'd like by going back to Galgan 360. And let's say we wanna make it dusk instead of daylight. We can do that as well. Let's say we want no clouds 
clouds or more clouds, we can do that as well. This is just honestly freaking mind blowing to see how far the technology has come. This technique absolutely blew my mind when I found out about it and I'm really happy that we get to share with y'all. So guess what guys, we're gonna be leaving a link right there in that description so you can go ahead, check out Galgan360 and get to creating on your own. But if you're curious about more AI tools that are just pushing the boundaries of what's possible for creatives, I recommend you check out this video that we made. It talks about some of the dopest artworks created using AI and some of the really awesome things that you guys can look forward to in the near future. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.